Well, the Labor Day weekend is always big at movie theaters as people have a little more time to catch up on what's new or what they haven't seen yet. Well, joining us to share what's new and a special meeting he had with a celebrity over the weekend is movie reviewer Greg Russell. Hey, Greg. Hi. Great to see you both Great as to always. See you too. Good to see you, Greg uh, Russell. He's movie out there reviewer, friend again. to the stars. Yes. <laughs> exactly. All of them. Exactly. Uh, we'll get to see that special meeting in a moment. Mm -hmm. but First, let's talk about the movies that are new in theaters yep. this weekend. Mm -hmm. um, first being Equalizer Denzel. 3, mm -hmm. and this is the end of the trilogy starring Denzel Washington. As they say. You know how that goes. So, but, uh, right. As they say. <laughs> but yep, Denzel so is back. Mm -hmm. This time his character is living in uh, the south part of Italy. Okay. And Ooh. he's there just to relax and retire until he realizes that all of his friends are being controlled, you know, and told what to do by... A mob. Ooh, the way. intrigue. So, I hate when that happens. Same here. <laughs> <laughs> so Denzel hops sometimes back in I'm action. I'm wondering about you two sometimes. Okay, but all right. Well, John and I've always got this thing. Yeah, they're giving each other this look. You guys can't see it. All right. <laughs> I know we've got a clip. Let's take it away. Who said you could come here? You should stay out of other people's business. Whatever it is you and your friends do, do it somewhere else. You warning me? I'm preparing. <laughs> Is that a Timex? No, it's a boot. Ah! That's the median nerve that I'm compressing. Jeez. Ah! All right, what are you hearing about this? I, I'm hearing from people that it is, once again, a very good movie. I mean, it's Denzel Washington. Seriously. It's almost like, yeah. how can you go wrong? Yeah, you know, it's true. Any which way. And he just loves doing all of his action stuff, too. That's amazing. I mean, he's so eerily calm. That's yeah. the crazy thing about this, air, this character, right? Right. Mm -hmm. He's just so chill, but like... No, I'm not warning you. I'm preparing you. That was like, like. <laughs> I would just get up right? and walk <laughs> out. <laughs> I'd be like, let me just go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank stuff. you. You're all, all right. good. You're all good. All right. Don't mess with Denzel. No. 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 <laughs> All right, well, coming up, well, next up, we have a series that's all about money management. Yeah. It's called Your World on Money, and it's all about lessons on money management. And I've, I keep hearing about this. Tell us about it. Yeah, it's hosted by a young lady. Her name is Adini, and she is a financial expert. Oh. And she tells people, young and old, about what to do with your money. But it's more like a friend talking to you. So it's not like, remember when your parents used to talk to you, mm -hmm. you'd kind of go, Okay, I don't right. want to do this. Yeah. But she gives you all these great tips. And the thing is, each episode is less than eight minutes long. Okay. Wow. I'm into that. Yeah. So you're not overwar you're not overwhelmed with information. It right. doesn't stress you out, make you feel like I'm not doing this all, you know, right. messing all up. Okay, you gotta got to talk with her. Yep, here we go. You enjoyed your series, Your World on Money. And I I'm not just saying this to sound funny, but truthfully, after watching it, I think that high schools and colleges should make it mandatory to watch this. I agree. I mean, that would be really awesome if all a lot of more schools watched it. But I didn't know most of the things uh, that I was learning about uh, for the series. And definitely in high school, we weren't being taught basic financial literacy, which I think is a real shame because not all of us, I mean, some of us do, but most of us don't use the calculus and other kind of more abstract mathematical formulas we learn in high school, but we still don't know how to do our taxes. So something clearly is wrong with that. Right. And like you said, I mean, so many, you know, different ones, like you said, about doing your taxes and just even budgeting, you yeah. know, knowing that if I've got $300 worth of bills, you know, making that up and I've only got $400, guess what? I'm just going to have $100 to live on because I've got to pay this other thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basic budgeting, also investing your money, all of this. I think it's just so important to know. And it, once you understand how to use your money, once you have it, um, and not just save it, but also use it to invest, I think it can only help you. Uh, it, it gives you more freedom in life. All right. Well, what did you think about the series? Very good. Yeah. Very good. I think it is something, especially for young people and even yeah. old, when I say older people, I mean, 20s, 30s, 40s. Sure. Like sure. that, just to learn what to do with your money. Yeah. Yep. So finally, let's talk about catching up with Mark. <laughs> 
Wahlberg, again, yeah. Greg Russell, friend of the stars. <laughs> How and where did this happen? As usual, Greg. What were you out here doing, Greg? It, it was this past Monday at the Detroit Golf Course, and it was part of the Feldman Automotive's Children, Children's Miracle Celebrity Invitational, which was also working with Mark Wahlberg's Youth Foundation okay. uh, to raise money for the Beaumont Children's Wing of the hospital. Oh, wow. And they had everybody out there. All of Mark's brothers were there, including Donnie. Okay. Yeah. And it was just a great time. But i got to tell you, Mark and I had made a promise to each other during COVID when I had interviewed him from my basement about something we were going to do when we finally got to see each other. And here you go. The last time you and I spoke was for Father's Day, and you and I kind of made a promise, and I've got it on tape about how when we saw each other, we were going to reach other a big hug. It's like we said, people need to hug. Absolutely. Especially with everything we've been through, it's like right now, hug everybody. You know, Absolutely. You, yeah. I'm still waiting to see you in person so I could do just that. Oh, same here. Yeah. Same here, man. Looking forward to that. So ready? Not too much disconnect. There you go. <laughs> you too, first of all, you're the best. You too. Always great Thank to you see so you as Jay. Thanks. Oh, Thanks. I'll give you a hug. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> hug fest. Great. So, that's so cool. Yep, there was also right. Jay Feldman as well. Oh, there, giving the hug, so we're all hugging. Good golf game? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's great. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. Uh, Greg. Yes. Huggable Greg. Yes. <laughs> Where can people see more of your reviews and hear you talk about how you're friends with all these stars? <laughs> Just go to movieshowplus.com right there. There you go. Plus, you can even catch out some of the uh, vintage interviews with Denzel. There you go. Even speak with a British accent. Thank so you, you Huggable Greg. We Thank appreciate you. you. I'm going to hug you both.